I'm here with Dr. Johnny Lynn. He's a foot and ankle physician at Midwest Orthopedics at Roche. And we're here at the Franciscan House of Mary and Joseph, which is a homeless shelter in Chicago. And Dr. Lynn and other physicians at Midwest Orthopedics at Roche, along with fellows and residents, are providing foot care today for the homeless. Dr. Lynn, what kind of foot treatment are you providing tonight? Well, the uh, real goal of this uh, event is uh, not only provide some care in terms of you know acute problems of people's feet and uh, you know checking for other potential problems in the future, but what we're really trying to do is uh, raise awareness for these uh, these people that um, need uh, shoes that are well cushioned, supportive. Um, really trying to just uh, get them take care of their feet a little bit better. And so we're trying to be somewhat preventative, and in doing so, what we try to do is give people a good solid pair of shoes, a new pair of shoes to somebody who really may not be able to afford it. And we also try to provide them with socks that also provide a good amount of cushioning. And so we're really just trying to give uh, someone um, the advantage of uh, having comfortable shoe wear, but not having to be able to spend money for that. In terms of uh, foot treatment, what do you typically see in the winter? What kinds of uh, foot problems, foot conditions do you see in the winter time? Well, in the winter time, um, if you're not slipping on the ice and falling, um, then a lot of things that we see can be somewhat related to, uh, you know, being cold. So you can get, you know, frostbite, some mild cases of frostbite. Um, if the shoes get wet, uh, sometimes you can see a lot of problems related with fungus. Um, if the shoe, if the feet stay wet for a long, for a long period of time, you can end up with some fungus. Um, if somebody's a diabetic, um, that can result in some you know, wearing through some of the skin on the bottom of the foot. So you can develop some ulcers, which can really turn into a problem if you don't watch out for those. But um, probably the majority of things that we see in general is actually fractures. People slip and fall on the ice and they, they fracture their ankles, they fracture bones in their toes and their feet. So that's probably what we see most really in the winter. How can people take better care of their feet this time of year? Well, I think clearly um, trying to keep you know a good pair of warm socks on. Um, layering socks is okay, uh, but in general, making sure you have a pair of shoes that don't leak. Uh, a lot of times in, in the winter in Chicago, you got some snow, you got a little bit of melting snow, and you want to make sure that the uh, the fluid doesn't get into the into your socks. And you also make sure you have uh, good enough uh, traction so you don't end up slipping and having falls on the ice. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Lynn. You can find out more about Dr. Lynn at the website Rush ortho.com and you can also make an appointment with him by calling 877-632-6637. Thanks so much.